If you're building your first website, then this video is for you. Basically, we'll be going over everything you guys need to know. And how do I know this? Well, I've built so many websites in my lifetime. I think websites are incredibly important for everyone to have. And yeah, if you guys watch this video, it's gonna save you a lot of time, money, as well as headache. You guys already know just how important having a website is, especially in today's economy where being seen is super important. So first I wanna commend you guys for taking that step. And yeah, let's get started with the video. So the first thing you guys need to think about is why are you creating a website? Is it gonna be a personal blog? Is it going to be a travel blog? Is it going to be a portfolio of your work? Is it going to be a resume? Is it going to be an e-commerce store? Is it going to be a website showcasing your business? Everyone has a different reason for building a website. And I just want you guys to be really clear on why you are choosing to build a website. I also want you guys to set really clear objectives with what the website is going to do. Is it going to help you get more sales? Is it going to you know help market yourself? Are you trying to sell things or have an online resume? Whatever it is, have those clear goals. What I will say is that everyone's goals are going to be different. Everyone will probably be building different types of websites and just know that throughout your lifetime you're probably going to be building dozens of different websites and so the earlier you get started the better next is you need to choose the right platform right so luckily there are so many different platforms and website builders that you guys can use to create your website there's wordpress there's wix there's hostinger there's squarespace there's so many different things you guys can use to build your website what i recommend for most people is to decide between wordpress and a website builder i'm not going to get into too much detail on whether or not you should choose WordPress or actually go with a website builder. We have other videos on our channel that talk more about that, but essentially it comes down to this. If you want a very, very customizable website with a lot of additional functionality that may be harder to implement, then WordPress is probably a good choice. If you want to build a website that's more basic, but still looks really, really good, I personally recommend just using a website builder. It's going to save you guys so much time and headache. And there are website builders out there that are extremely cheap. We're talking like $3 per Per month. So here at my first website, we actually have a ton of exclusive deals with different website builders. We'll have a link down below if you guys do want to use any of them. And actually, if you guys do want help setting up your website, we do have a completely free website setup service and you guys can check that out down below as well. But yeah, really in today's age, there's really no wrong choice. Everything is extremely powerful and no matter what platform you choose, you will be able to build an amazing looking website. So the next thing you want to think about is your domain name. Personally, I think having custom domain names is extremely important. That's why I never use the free plans out there because they don't allow you to use custom domains. Rather, I use things like Hostinger, Squarespace, or the paid Wix plan. These allow custom domains. They actually include a free domain. And yeah, essentially your domain is your website's identity. You really want to choose a memorable, but also easy to type domain name. Because if you choose something that's super complicated, no one's going to remember it. They might make typos when trying to go to your website and end up on a completely different website. So choose a name that relates to the overall purpose and objective of your website. I recommend using .com, .co, .io, .so. Avoid .net or .org unless you are a nonprofit. But yeah, with some creativity, you guys should be able to secure a good domain name. The next thing is your website design. And this is something that I think a lot of people get stuck on. They want to create the perfect looking website. They spend hours and hours researching, trying to make it exactly how they want it. For most people, I don't think this is the right thing to do. I think your time is much better spent on actually creating the content of the website. And for most people, just using one of the standard templates that comes with your web hosting plan is going to be perfectly good enough. For example, Hostinger has a ton of really great looking templates that are include for free when you use the website builder. There's also a ton of free templates like Astra if you do choose to use WordPress. Squarespace has tons and tons of great looking professional templates. And so yeah, what I recommend is just choose one of those templates that works for you. Don't customize it that much because trust me, people don't care about the design as much as you think. This is a huge mistake that I made when I was first starting out. I wanted the design to be perfect and in reality, it does not matter that much. The great thing about using a template too is that these are all going to be professional made, meaning they are designed for both desktop as well as mobile. So if you choose one of these templates, then it's going to work perfectly on both the computer as well as on a phone. And for most websites, half your traffic is likely going to come from desktop and half is gonna come from mobile. The next point I want you guys to know is that the content on your website, that is the king, okay? Design is important, but like I said earlier, it's not the most important. Any professionally made template is going to be good enough, but the hard part is getting the content to be good. So of course it really depends on what type of website you're making, but let's say for example, you guys are creating some type of personal blog. Well, in that case, your writing, it's gonna be the most important aspect of your website. And without good content, people are not going to stay, they're not gonna read, and that is a mistake that I see a lot of people make. 
they get the design perfect, but they don't spend time on the actual content, which is the most important part. So what I want you guys to do is spend your time writing. You guys can use things like ChatGPT to help you. Keep updating your content. Be consistent with your posts or whatever you're putting out on your website. And definitely incorporate pictures, video, and other things that make your content more interesting. The next thing I wanna talk about is SEO. And this basically stands for search engine optimization. This is very important, especially if you want your website to be found on Google search. And what I will say is that SEO, it's a very, very complicated thing. There are agencies out there that charge thousands and thousands of dollars, and all they do is basically optimize and build out your SEO. But basically just know that using certain keywords, optimizing your images, and making sure that your website loads fast is extremely important for your SEO. There's also backlinks, which we won't get into too much in this video, but basically the more websites that actually link to your website, the better it is going to be for the performance of your website. And yeah, just for now, know that SEO exists. Don't worry too much about it. And later on, you guys can start optimizing for your search. The next thing you guys may want to have is some type of logo. I know that I really enjoy making logos. To me, it feels like a really important part of creating a website or a brand or a business. It's not super important for most people, but there are a lot of really great logo makers out there, like the Taylor Brands logo maker, which I recommend. We'll actually have a link down below to that. But essentially, these types of logo makers, they can generate really good and professional looking logos for you. They're a lot more affordable than hiring a professional logo maker. So yeah, for most people, I just recommend using one of these platforms. The next thing I want to talk about is that getting actual people to go to your website can be challenging. A lot of people, they'll build a website and immediately think, once I build this website, everyone's going to go to it. Why would they not? The tough thing is that marketing a website is extremely hard and it's okay to make a website that does not get a lot of eyeballs. I've made so many websites in the last 20 years. Many of them barely got any views, but in that process, I was learning how to create websites I got better and better. And it really is the journey of learning how to build websites that is so, so important. So yeah, it's totally okay if no one really looks at your website. Just continue building, continue making your content better. It might take a long time for people to start going to your website, but that's totally normal. And yeah, for me, making websites, it's super fun. It's a great way to document my life if I have a blog. It's a great way to document my work if I have a portfolio in like photography or video, whatever it is. I think everyone should have websites for their hobbies and their interests because it really does make life a lot more interesting. But yeah, like I sort of mentioned earlier, if I could go back, I would not spend so much time trying to set up my website and make it perfect. Instead, I'd spend more time on the content as well as the marketing and focusing on other things in my life, like building my businesses that have way more impact. If you're building your first website, know that this is not going to be the only website you build. You're likely going to build many in your lifetime. That's why I recommend just using Hostinger with a premium or business plan, which is like three, four dollars per month when you guys use our link down below. And make sure to use code my first website for an even bigger discount discount. One of these plans is going to allow you to build a hundred different websites. See, so yeah, that's the plan I recommend for most people, especially if you're trying to save money. It really is an amazing deal. And I think everyone should have a hosting or plan. But yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys got some value from it. Again, if you guys do want to take advantage of our free website setup service, click on that link down below. We can help you guys get set up with the correct plugins and all that stuff. And yeah, that should save you guys a ton of time. And best of all, it's completely free. All you need to do is buy hosting, which you have to get anyways. So you might as well take advantage of of our free website setup offer. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you to build your website. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.